need to construct a parallelogram and a triangle using these darker lines. Each shape must have an area of 36 units squared. So one of these little squares represents one unit. <laughs> First, you need to know what, how do you find the area, since we're talking about area, you can listen to this, and of a parallelogram. I remember how to do how this. How do you find the area of a parallelogram? Area equals length, I mean base times height. Good. Equals base times height. What? Parallelogram. So the base is how many um, units long, what, what they gave you. Yeah, base times height. So we can write it like this, BH, or you can write it as base times height, or you can write it as in brackets. This also means multiply, okay? All of those means multi mean multiply. So let's erase this. Base times height. I'll just leave it like that. What is the base given right now? How many units? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the base is nine units, and we know the area of a parallel parallelogram has to be the base times height times the height. Well, it has to equal how many units squared? What's what does the area have to equal? Uh, thirty six units squared. So the area has to be thirty six. Nine times what gives you thirty six? Nine times four. So you have to draw a parallelogram with a height, right? The height. My height is. Has um, to be four. My height. You decided to draw a parallelogram like this, my and height. yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we have this. Still has to be nine. One, two, three, that four, one went all the way to five, the six, seven, eight, nine. It should be nine. Oh, I can go over there. You can't, that's but that's the way you drew it. Something. Yeah. But then the height here, we're just going to go over on the other side. The height is one, two, three, four. Okay. Height goes perpendicular, so it's a straight line. line. Right. Or something like that. Okay, so this is nine centimeters or units, sorry, not centimeters. Unit squared. No, this is In nine units. End. And then this is four, four units. units. And the area is? 36 units squared. Units squared, good. Square units. Good. Okay, so this one's done. Now I want you to try the triangle. So we know area of a triangle is equal to base times base height times height divided by two. Divided by two. Well, what's the base given? Let's count that again. Nine, I think. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? What's wrong? The base given is nine units. Again. Again. But this time it's nine times something. We need to figure out the height. And then divided by, by two, two is th has to be 36. So it's half of something will give you 36. Well, what, how can you work backwards? Uh, do the, the six and six is 12 to carry the one. Three and three is six plus one is 72. 72. So what you're saying is that it's going to be 72 yeah. divided by 2 will give you 36. But you can't go up by 72. But we have our base is 9, right? So 9 times something has to be 72. Because then when you get that 72, then you divide it by 2. 9 times what is 72? 8. Yep. Let's check. 9 times 8 is 72. 72 divided by 2. What's 72 divided by 2? 36. 36. So we have to draw a height of 8 units. Eight. And where does the height, where is the height drawn from? From, from the center. top of the, yeah. from the center. One, two, three. One, two, three. From here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What if I draw the triangle like this? It will be shrunk. Oops. Hold on. Oh, wow. It, it, that's okay. It's, uh, oh, that's wrong. It's, um, a... Wait, one, two, Scaly. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's Scaling eight. Scaling triangle? Yeah. Scaling. Yeah. Okay, so there's our answer. Made with DoodleCast Pro.